Hey, this is going to be for Aries or First House Crosswatcher. Just wanted to do a little bit of a longer formatted reading. Let's see what comes out. Spirit. Let's see if I have enough space as well on the CPU and the phone. Two cup in the reverse is falling out, energy, happiness, ten of cup in the upright, juxtapose happiness here. Could be going for your true happiness, which is more of a solo endeavor. Less of a kind of falsified projected happiness with the ten of cup in the upright. This really involves an alchemical personal process here. Giving first person narrative vibes, giving, you know, actor on the stage vibes. Star card in the upright, wish fulfillment, going for your true kind of version of happiness, a deep depth. Doesn't it's very personal. It doesn't really involve others in in such a way. It it involves others, but maybe as others as the side characters, whereas now or before it would have been you as a side character. And I'm seeing that you have all the space to manifest here with the judgment card in the reverse here. This is something that you're contemplating and ruminating, but you feel very clear and direct about how you stand in regards to this matter. So this is something that you feel that you can walk away for, for now because you can, you've categorized it already in your mind, right? You've already, um, you know, quantified it and put it in the proper bin or module in your, in your mindset. Three cup in the upright, this is the understanding that your journey is going to require a connection to source now. It can't be sustained alone by just pure desire and want in the far off and away of the accomplishments of your goals in the distance. You have to go based on internal candlelight. There's a certain amount of warmth. Mystique is what this requires. Legend. I'm getting legend as well. It's very giving uh, Ramble On vibes by Led Zeppelin. You know, I gotta find my girl. I gotta find my empress here. The chariot headed to the empress. I gotta, I gotta travel the way, right? Some like, I don't know if it's like Persephone or like the underworld. <clears throat> where you're in search. And I see that search being uh, reinvigorated here, coming out of any prior blockages or timestamps that may have caused heartache and heartbreak in this twin flame journey. You see the sun card here. So you're very much, I feel, online still in line with that twin flame path. That's how it comes across. And it could just be like the very nature of your quality or your standard. Something could also be setting you on track here. Incoming communication could be from an outside institution, ten of pentacles in the upright. Feels like it'll set you straight. Feels like it'll set you in a good direction. Direction, facilitate what you need to channel more of the King of Pentacle in the upright and the Queen of Wands in the upright. It's almost as if you have these quality character types, but it's like you need the right set and setting. You need the right stage so you can perform those roles of the Queen of Wands in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, it would be a difference if you were, like, trying to aspire to, to be those, but I'm getting more so that you really just need the, the stage to be able to do that. You know, it's not that you need the... I'm not getting that you need to acquire any lessons or skill or experience to embody them as much as you just need the right stage. Because what are we if we're in this kind of vacuum of uh, you know, no relation? That's how it's coming across.
that's what I have for you here is take it if it resonates. I'm happy with the time length here, short five minutes, reach out for more.